has a little bit of a circus theme. So let's open it up and see what we've got. And as we open this up, I'd like to say, I hope your day has been well, that you're ready to relax, play some solitaire, get some much needed rest. As you know what, not too bad, kinda simple, kinda sweet. And with that being said, let's put away our jokers and gaff cards and shuffle up this deck. Not bad. So far, first impressions. I'm really enjoying the back design. Somewhat hypnotic, circus-like. And we got that circus theme we were looking for. in the 
this first game as we have double fours, double aces, and double tens. Let's do a casino shuffle for this one. Another, I think that's the same six we started last game with. All right, let's hope for a different result. And when I said that, I just thought of something. How crazy would it be if in the same night, or even back-to-back -back games, we dealt the same I wonder what the statistics are on that one, but it looks like that will not be the case as we have double twos, double fours to start this one. So, to put the 
craziness lurked beneath as we have double fours, double tens, double threes, double fives, double nines, double eights, double sevens, triple fives, and triple threes. Full house right there. All right, so quickly on to game number three. Quite a shame if you ask me, but you know what? Maybe this next one will be the one that we need. Anyway, let's shuffle up this deck.
carnival, I guess you'd call it. Met up with some friends, and they suggested going to a bottle toss game because they knew I played baseball. And I think that year I won like the MVP for the B team or something because we had a very large baseball following and the A team was reserved for the sixth graders. So I went to the bottle toss and it was ran by all of the varsity or a couple of the varsity baseball players. And they wanted to pick on me. And I was like, oh, really? You guys are jerks. All right, whatever. Sucks for you in the long run, not me. So they wanted to make it challenging for me. So that instead of putting the bottles like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then make a pyramid, they made the pyramid this thin. So the bottles were facing away from me. Or to the side. Triple fives, what the heck. And they made me stand further back. And gave me one try instead of three. To knock it over for a prize or whatever it was. I think it was ticket stubs actually. To redeem for prizes. And I remember. I got the ball. And just so you know. In baseball I am a very, very good hitter. Like, in my opinion, better than most. And I wasn't really known for fielding. I was a good fielder, but I wouldn't be recognized for that. Nor throwing, even though I pitched. I just kind of pitched out of necessity. So I, was, I wasn't nervous. I was just like, yeah, what the heck, let's just do this. Whatever, get it over with. So I got the ball and I threw it and I hit it dead center. And I threw it hard enough to walk, knock down every bottle. And the bottles were made of thick aluminum cans, and I believe this would be our third play. So triple sixes, and we had triple fives. That's ridiculous. And I remember the look on their faces were like, really? This guy managed to do it. Because I was a bit of a chubbier kid too, so there was like, you know, the stereotypes. They kind of reluctantly gave me tickets, gave me some extra since they did do an unfair challenge. As I believe that's it, so let's stack it up. And that was pretty neat. Like, I just remember that one of those core memories. As it looks like, ooh, you know what? Let's do this one instead. That I will remember because it's fun when people underestimate you type of thing. Triple eights. Tonight has been absolutely dreadful with this. As there's nowhere for that six. Nowhere for that seven. Oh, wait a second. There is. And it's funny. One of those um, so-called baseball players used to go to the same high school older than me and we would practice at the same um, baseball field quadruple eights wow but we're still alive and he would be practicing and I was a grade younger he was always so cocky and I would always hit the ball further than him he would watch me afterwards kind of in a little jealous way I thought it was funny as Seriously, if you can hear my stomach this whole time, I'm sorry. I I need to get some food after this. Um, anyway, yeah. Can't really focus too well while my stomach is going through some sort of blitzkrieg. But you know what? Somehow, we've made it this far. And I was about to say... The word of the night would be triplets, but we might still be in this one. As we put down that four, put down that five, put down that jack, and put down that two. That's three plays, by the way. Ten, nine. Wow. So amongst or throughout all of that mess, we managed a comeback. And you know what? Triplets are the word of the night, but the theme of the night is 
just as surprised as I am, let it be known. Pretty much everything was against us tonight, but you know what? We were challenged and we proved it wrong, fitting with the story. So let's finish stacking this up, do our victory shuffle, and wrap this video to an end. Man, I had a lot of stories I could pull from too. That was just a, the first one that came to mind. Oh well. Maybe another time. As we have all of these spades in order, Ace to King. Along with all of the clubs. Next.